All right, so this is the device I built for testing the Prius battery, okay? So this is what you'll need. You'll need some wire to hook to the bottom and then another to hook to a bulb on the side. If you can solder it, you can solder it. I just put a clamp on the little knob there. And anyway, so then you'll need your tester to be able to do volts. You'll need a stopwatch. And all it is, is what you're looking for is I have, I have two hybrid batteries, Prius hybrid batteries. What I did is I am just basically putting the good cells and making one good hybrid for my car. So what you need to do is you need to load test them. And so these ones with the screws on it, I know are bad. Um, I already did this once and put it all together and uh, one of the cells in the battery is bad so I'm gonna show you real quick um, how I figured out or figured this part out and uh, so you'll just need a stopwatch you can see the little hand and do 30 seconds and you'll see what I'm talking about and it doesn't need to have that much of a load on it to figure out if it's bad or not and this even though this is a really low amp voltage you can still tell it once you put a little load on it if the if it sinks really fast or if it or not and i'll show you that real quick so okay so now what we're doing is i turn the voltage meter on i have my stopwatch 30 seconds now what i'm looking at is let's say this one for example this is going to be a good one so all you're doing is you're putting it on the two ends, your lights on, you start your 30 seconds and you see how the volts is sustaining itself. 7.69, 7.68, but it's sustaining itself. So this is a good one. After 30 seconds, it doesn't drop very much with that load on it. And it's not a very big or very bright light. So it's pretty good. This is the cell that I say that I found is bad, is this fourth one. So I put it on and for 30 seconds, see how it's consistently dropping? 7.32, 7.25 now, 2.4, 2.3. Do you see that on the volt meter? It just keeps dropping 7.1, 7.15. This is the bad cell. This is the one I gotta change out. So now I got to go find a good cell. So come over here. Okay, so now I'm going to test this one and see if this is a good cell or that I can put in there or not. So I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to put my voltmeter on it. And you can see it's 7.81. And we start at the time, 30 seconds. See what it does. See how it's just sustained at 7.81? It's not even moving. 7.79. There's 15 seconds in. 7.8. 7.78, I mean. So this is a good cell. There's almost 30 seconds. And there's 30 seconds. And it didn't drop hardly anything. So we know that this is a good cell. So what I'm gonna do is replace this cell with that bad cell. And that should remove the code that is on there. And uh, this, is, this isn't a way to, I'm not saying it's a way to fix your hybrid batteries. It's more of a prolonging your hybrid ba battery by switching out good cells with bad cells. If you want, if you want to go and pay the $4,200 um, for a brand new battery or $2,400, whatever it is, um, I know that the ideal way would be to buy a whole new setup um, from Toyota because then you know it's going to last 15 years. These are all going to be brand new. But if you buy ones that are on eBay for $900 bucks or $1,500, bucks, all they did is took bad battery cells and put a load on it just what I'm doing here and seeing if they're good enough and then they give you a three-year warranty or something you know and they might change out a cell here or there that goes bad during the process
but it's not reconditioning them it's not getting them new and so you can do the same thing if you know and i'm showing you how to do it by buying i think somebody had a wrecked um prius so i bought their battery from them for like 200 bucks you know um and there was one two three four five six cells that were bad and then seven cells that were bad out of the 28 cells and then in my prius i had six cells bad so i swapped those out but um i didn't catch the one that had the low load um so i didn't catch that one and so i put it in everything was working good the thing was charged and everything was fine then I got the code and it was in that cell block that the code came up and so now I'm going to swap this one out and I'm hoping that fixes the problem but, and I'll show you how I'm going to swap it out right now so uh, hang tight and I'll show you okay so all I'm doing is going to take these off to get to the fourth cell that's bad so Pop these all off real quick. And if you have a drill, it's faster and better, but if you don't, just do it by hand. Now, these all have to come off to where it's split right here okay well at least, probably at least half I think by half I can push them off see what that looks like yeah something like that and I can get to it now on the bat on the underneath there's also screws so i'm gonna have to get the fourth one out so i'll have to get the screw out the there's um these little screws so i'll just have to go to the fourth one and then on this side i'm gonna have to do the first one and the third one. Okay. And so now we can get to the fourth one. Now I'm just gonna have to take all these off. Come around, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to take these off here. Okay. everything in so you just pop these off just comes off like this and then these all have little snaps and you'll have to take out until you get to the fourth one right here so one we're after get this off now obviously if it's one in the middle it's going to be harder to do I mean I'm lucky that it's only this one here, so it just takes time is all. So then we'll put this in, pop these off. And then 
what happens is this comes off, okay, but it's easier to have it come off with this second, first one. So if you can bend both of them out, then it pops right off. Now be careful though, because this first one has this sensor, okay? So you just gotta be careful. And now all we're doing is getting them all loose until we get to the fourth one. And we're just gonna slide this fourth one out because it's the bad one. Okay, now you gotta make sure that you're putting it in right. So we have negative, negative, positive, negative. This will be a positive, okay? And then a negative. So all we're doing is sliding it in. And I mean, if obviously, um, if you can't, if you do, if this doesn't fit on it right, then it, it's wrong. So now that's all done and everything there looks fine. Now all we'll do is we'll take this piece and we're just going to put this back in. Now this is, this is where it gets a little tricky because you have to lift this first one up and get this into place. kind of like that and then once you get it down in the little slot there see how I got it then you can just slide it down into place make sure these are pushed out where it needs to be so this isn't lined up right so it just needs to be pushed out a little bit okay and now we're slid into place see that and now it's swapped out. So then you just take these, and you're just gonna screw them back in to make it nice and tight, compression. And then you got these tubes down here as well, so you may have to just move the tube over a little bit to get it lined up so it goes nice and in. And you wanna do it with your hand. Um, at the beginning, don't use because if you cross thread it, then it, you're probably going to ruin the tube. So you just get it with your hand at first, and then you can take this and go nice and slow. And just And you'll take your your little nuts here that we took off and put these back on. I'll get a wrench and put it on this before I put it back in to make sure it's nice and tight. Just kind of use this for now because it's handy for the video. And then basically, now all these are back up together. We will just uh, clip these back in. They just slide right in like this. And then you'll put your tubing back on. So I mean, it's it's pretty. It's not that difficult to do. It's like I said, this isn't a permanent fix. It's more of just getting the battery to last a little longer and, and not having to pay a ton of money for 
Because, I mean, I don't know, if you plan on driving the car for the next 15 years, obviously it's worth paying the $4,000 or whatever and getting a brand new hybrid battery. But if, if you already have so many hundreds of thousands of miles on the car, then you may just want to prolong the battery a little bit longer and keep doing this process whenever the cells go bad and until uh, you know until you get rid of the car trade it in or get a new one or whatever but if you're like you know what I'm gonna keep this car for another 15 years then it's definitely worth paying the four grand getting a brand new hybrid battery from the dealer and um, and then just maintaining the car but if if you're thinking oh the car probably can drive for 300,000 miles and I already have 250,000 on it maybe you'd be better to just prolong the battery and make the car last for another 50,000 miles and then see where you're at at 50,000 miles at 300,000 miles than to pay four grand for a battery I mean even though everyone everyone has their own opinions I mean some people will say well you can still use that, that battery to another Prius or whatever well nice you gotta buy another Prius but anyway you get these back on put it back in see if the code comes back on if it does then it could be a wiring issue it could be but as for the cells they should be all good right now got them all tested with the load testing and so um, but I have where I bought another Prius battery I got two of these I got two of these things I got two of these two you know I got pretty much two of every part so if I still have issues you can change out harnesses you can change out I mean there's you can change like I I cleaned every single one of these um, when I pulled them off I cleaned every one of them and uh, so but I mean we'll try this and see if it works if it doesn't work then um, and I still keep getting codes then I may change out inner parts to to see what's going on until I find the right issue and a lot of people will inspect every single one of these wires for cracks and and they, you know and you can but that's if it doesn't work if it works then it's successful no big deal I hope you like the video thanks